Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're going to go ahead and disconnect our battery terminals. And set those aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and loosen these clamps. Set that intake tube aside. I'm going to use pliers, loosen and remove this, and pull this hose off. There's a 10 mil bolt right here holding this bracket with the harness. I'm just going to throw that bolt back in here. On the top of the throttle body, I'm going to remove the bolt for this bracket here. Go ahead and disconnect this connector here. Push down on that tab and try and work this back. To remove this hose here from our intake, we're going to use our pick. Work that off, set that aside. There are four 12 millimeter bolts holding our throttle body to the intake. Here, 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 and there's one on the back side. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove those. Bracket on the back side here. We're going to use our mallet to gently tap our throttle body loose. Go ahead and make sure that all of our components are separated and clear of our intake. Let's remove the bolts for the intake. We're using our 12 millimeter socket and extension for this. side of the intake area there's going to be vacuum lines and pop these free from the little plastic retainer and just stretch those aside there
on the bottom side right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull off that vacuum. Side, you can see we have a on the vacuum port here. I'm gonna pop this off. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our pliers and release that clamp right there. Go ahead and grab the intake. I'm gonna use some paper towels and stuff them inside the intake ports here because we don't want anything to fall down inside here. I'm gonna use our pick to assist us in taking this connector off right here. Go ahead and slide that off. Let's pull back our boot here. and remove that nut right there. Using a 13 millimeter gear wrench, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the nut holding the cable to the starter. Remove the nut, remove the lock washer, and remove the cable. Tuck it aside. I'm gonna pinch this connector right here and pull this off of the sensor. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this harness from this retainer tab. I'm gonna use our 17 millimeter shallow socket and extension to loosen and remove the starter bolt here. Using our 14 millimeter socket and our ratchet, let's go ahead, loosen and remove that back starter bolt. We're just gonna go ahead and give our starter a little bonk here. Pop that free. Grab that starter and work it out. Take a new starter, lower it down into place. And take our back bolt. Feed that through and we're going to get that started a few threads. Once we have that one in, let's go ahead and take our lower bolt and do the same. our front bolt of 47 foot-pounds. And the rear bolt is to be torqued to 33 foot-pounds. If you have the ability to do so, go ahead and do that now. Right now I'm just gonna snug that down and install our cable on the top of our starter here. washer or lock washer and then the nut and get that started by hand I'm 
going to go ahead and snug that down. Position our rubber boot back up and over. Install our connector here. And again, install our harness onto our bracket right here. Take our studs. I'm going to put a little bit of anti compound on there. I'm going to go ahead and thread these in. We had to remove these here to clean up the surface of the the intake here. Right. Install our vacuum port here. Pop this into its retainer clip right here. And we have our vacuum hose right here. We want to clip onto the bottom. Before we get our intake installed, I want to go ahead and be sure to pull out our towels. Go ahead and install the two top nuts on the studs. Just going to get those threaded a few threads. Just going to check around our intake, make sure there's nothing causing any interference. Let's go ahead and get our bolts installed. Go ahead and install your vacuum hose right here. Our retaining clip for our vacuum hoses would normally go in the intake here, but our clip is broken. So we're just gonna rest our hoses on the side right now and we'll have to go ahead and replace this clip. I'll go ahead and snug down all of our bolts on our intake. Go ahead and torque down our intake manifold bolts to 16 foot-pounds. Let's install our throttle body. We need to get our two backing plates in with the nuts on there. There's going to be one that goes behind this harness, behind the intake. Get our throttle body lined up. And we're going to 
gonna start by getting one bolt in the top here. You feed it through the intake. And start threading it into that little bracket there. Once we have that upper bolt started, we'll go ahead and do the same on this side here. Let's go ahead and get our lower bolts in. Let's get all four of these snug down. and torque these bolts on to 16 foot-pounds. We're going to go ahead and attach our harness. So connect this connector here. Snap that into place. Get our bracket lined up, get our bolt installed here. Then down below, we have our lower bracket. Go ahead and get that bolted in. That threads into one of the ports in the intake. Just wanna snug down this bracket. Once you feel it bottom out, just hair a bit more, and the same on the intake. Go ahead and snug down that bracket. Then install our vacuum hose here. Push it down into place. And we'll go ahead and install this hose here to the top of our intake. Press it down into place, and then use your pliers to go ahead and Get the lock, got the lock and clamp on there, like so. Let's get our intake tube installed. Ah. Let's tighten up our clamps. Install your terminals. Go ahead and snug these down. Go ahead and get your ground installed and do the same here. 